So, Tommy, obviously we face Eastbourne tomorrow, second game of pre-season. Um, you know, what are your thoughts ahead of that one? Looking forward to it. It's all stomping ground of mine, so I've got a lot of friends and people I've kept in contact down there. So it'd be, on a personal note, it'd be nice to go back down to the south coast and, and see some old acquaintances. Uh, but ultimately, it's really the first game in terms of the vast majority of the first team squad getting real minutes under their belt. Um, and obviously, the week leading into that is, has been as such. So we're all ready to go. Um, we've got the numbers we want and um, everybody on board will be going down there hoping to have a positive start to their own campaign individually, which means as a club, then we can get off on the right foot. Last weekend, obviously kicking off the pre-season campaign at Badshot Lee. It was a team mainly of trialists, but there were youngsters involved, weren't there? So were any of those caught your eye a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think that was a huge positive experience. I mean, listen, I understand it wasn't fantastic on the eye for the 90 minutes, but there was a, a lot of lads thrown together there because that's the situation they found themselves, we found ourselves, and we had to have a look and, and sort of weed them out very, very quickly. One or two made the cut and one or two will still be here and be seen at Eastbourne, I'm sure. Um, but the vast majority of them lads have moved on. But the younger lads in the in the group, our own, so Maxi Mullins, um, Alex McAllister, and do, 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 Mason, Keen. Keen Anderson, Mason O'Beng, and the young lads, George and Ash, they, they've all done themselves no harm at all in my eyes because it was a very, very young group of trialists and they were younger again. And the fact that I've let most of the trialists move on to something new will probably be a good indication that I'm happy enough with what I'm seeing from our youngsters below the first team group. And while well, speaking about that group, obviously, you know, it's the, se well, it's the end of the second week of pre-season now. So is the squad starting to take a bit of a shape? Yeah, well, undoubtedly. I mean, um, obviously we have a squad overview that we work to. We know what we want in each position. Um, when, when things come and go, we have to we have to have that preempted, if you like. And so, you know, that's that's something I've always done wherever I've been, whether I've been in this job or another job. Um, and yeah, I'm really comfortable. I'm really pleased with the way the lads are applying themselves. Our pre-season will be very different to the last pre-season and the season before that because we're different people. We'll deliver it in a different way. But ultimately, pre-season is about getting into the players enough work so as when the the main games come that they're they're all up to speeding and hopefully get through 90 minutes in terms of the squad as well we've we've now seen an outgoing tyler cordner so can you give your thoughts on on that that departure yeah i mean look at the end of the day football is an ever-changing scenario you know and i knew there was a high chance when i came in the building last season that tyler might even get back to pre-season but he returned and i've got to say he quit himself really well in the training sessions i had a really long chat with him first day of the season and to be honest at that stage I told him I would be building around him, but but very quickly it was made it was made known to me that he wanted to go um, for whatever reason. That's his that's his choice. People will have to ask him. Club were were keen to keep him. We wanted to say we, you know the, the club invested heavily in him. I know because I know what they all get paid. They invested heavily in him to keep him, um, but he wanted to go to York and. I've said it to other people myself, so I'm going to have to stand by my own mantra. If players don't want to be here and play for Aldershot Town, ultimately then represent me and the football club, then I don't want them in the building. And the club have to work as hard as they can to get the best deal they can. Um, that's happened by by all accounts because the three parties got to be happy with that. York City are obviously happy. Tyler's, you know, wanted the move, and and Aldershot, have, have, we as a football club, have let him move on. So. He's, he's listen we have to thank him for what he's done he, he did ever so well for the for the group last season he's gone we have to replace that if you look we brought in a guy yesterday who supersedes him if you like in terms of where he's coming from and to where he's been so um i'm really comfortable with the decision because it was from the player if the player doesn't want to be here then he has to move on and i understand there'll be a disappointment from the fans but they have to collectively understand i'm changing the mentality of this dressing room the culture of the football club within and I need that to change without because I want everybody here to be better individuals, therefore being a better team. I just felt last season there were far too many people who were individually pushed for them for their own gain. Whereas now I'm going to, I feel as a group mentality that if we do well, individuals will do better. And like I said, someone goes out the door, someone else will come in, and I'm sure that that, that will happen very soon. Well, yeah, you mentioned there Kobe coming in yesterday. We also saw Zane Walker and Jordy the keeper as well. So, is there more to come then? Undoubtedly. I mean, like I said, I think I said it in the fans forum, I wanted about 80 to 85, 90% of my squad together by the time we go to Eastbourne. Um, well, there'll be somebody you learn about later on this afternoon, I should think, that, that will be joining us at Eastbourne. He's trained with us last week. He's had to go home and collect a few bits and bobs. But um, I'm sure the fans will be really excited when they realise who it is. I think it's a, 
it's quite a coup for us to, to be able to get the guy on board. So uh, I'll leave that for you to, to play with on your social platforms. But look, we're, we, are we complete yet? Are we ready to go day one of, of the season? No. Are we ready to go day one of pre-season match day? Absolutely. The, the mood around the place is, is a world away from when I walked in the door. Um, and that's not decrying any individual who's leave, leaving the building or has already left the building. They're just a different, there's a different age range, there's a different mindset, and there's a collective intention that we want to do well. And that has to start, it started at Bad Shirley. I said it to the youngsters, I said it to the, the guys who were on trial. We want to win every half of football we play. Now, I know that ain't going to happen, but that's the intention that we have to have. to have, And that comes from wanting to win any race you do, any little game, small-sided games you do, any little competition we have in-house, we want to win. And no different when we go on the road. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.